The UNI football team is looking to bounce back from a heartbreaking conference loss at Southern Illinois last weekend. And what is better than some home cooking in the Unidome to get back on the winning track? Here's Brad Wells with the preview of the big matchup versus Missouri State this weekend. The UNI football team returns to the Unidome for a home game Saturday at 4 p.m. against Missouri State. The Panthers try to rebound from a one-point road loss to 10th-ranked Southern Illinois. UNI passed for a season-high 254 yards in the narrow loss and rushed for over 150 and another balanced attack. Deion McShane totaled 105 receiving yards to lead the offense. Defensively, Riley Van Wy led the team with 14 tackles, while Omar Brown had an interception, and Bronte Wells and Caden Huftelling combined for a recovered fumble. For you and I to slow down the Bears' offensive attack, it starts with slowing down quarterback Jaden Johnson. There's no question the quarterback is their strength. As you watch him, he's 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 an exceptional athlete, uh, and uh, and he's got some some exceptional receivers to throw to. So uh, he he is definitely a difference maker for him and, and has won games for him and, and really helped him uh, this season and even last because they played in the, in the fall. So, you know, he's definitely a, a factor in every game because of the talent that he is and the receivers that he's, that he's, that he's throwing to. And then defensively, they're doing a very good job as well. I mean, they're playing good defense and, and, and like, you, like you mentioned, their talent is, is uh, very challenging. UNI football's home game Saturday is the third of this spring season with just one more remaining after Bear Week. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Panther Sports Talk. Check out our past shows and stories on our Panther Sports Talk YouTube page and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next week for a brand new show on UNI Panther Athletics.